Good afternoon. Today is Thursday, May 14th, 2020. I'm Father Jeff Walker, and this is your daily meditation from the Catholic parishes of Sandusky. Today, the church celebrates the feast of St. Matthias, one of the apostles. We hear about the selection of St. Matthias in the first chapter of the Acts of the Apostles. St. Luke begins the Acts of the Apostles with the ascension of Jesus into heaven, and we learn that what Jesus left behind for his followers was a church, a community of disciples gathered around their leaders, the apostles. Jesus had chosen the original 12 apostles by name and sent them out on mission, but now the time had come for the apostles to begin the succession plan. For you see, one of the original twelve was no longer among their number. Judas, Iscariot, the traitor, the betrayer. And so the apostles gathered together to implement what we might call the first act of apostolic succession. They chose a new apostle to replace Judas. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, they chose Matthias who was himself a witness to the resurrection, one of the disciples of Jesus who had been with them along the way. And thus the church continued, and the church continues to this day. Catholics use the term apostolic succession to describe the reality that the church that Jesus left on earth for us on the day of his ascension continues to this very day, that the Holy Spirit continues to choose successors to the apostles, who we nowadays call bishops, and that the Church of Jesus Christ subsists even today in the community of disciples gathered around the successors to the apostles, the bishops. God has not left his people wandering aimlessly. He's given us ministers to teach, govern, and sanctify his people, to continue the work that he began when he called the twelve apostles and sent them out on mission. Over the years, when we look at those successors to the apostles, the bishops, we realize that there have been a fair share of Judas Iscariots among their number, those who have fallen short, or worse, actively betrayed the ministry entrusted to them. And yet the church of God persists. The church of God lives on. The work of preaching, teaching, healing, and sanctifying continues on to this very day in the church of God. And so as we celebrate the feast of St. Matthias, in whom we recognize the beginning of apostolic succession, we give thanks that the Holy Spirit continues to work in his church today, choosing ministers to preach, govern, and sanctify the community of disciples gathered around our leaders. So let's continue to pray for the ministers of our church, especially in the weeks ahead as some of our diocesan seminarians are preparing to be ordained to the diaconate on June 17th and to the priesthood on June 27th. Let us keep our seminarians, deacons, priests, and bishop in our prayers, that they might be good and holy shepherds, that they might be effective preachers of the good news of the gospel, and that they might carry on faithfully the mission entrusted to them in the power of the Holy Spirit. St. Matthias, pray for us.